and also like you know what are the integration flow is required for ewm what are the ewm integration flow the typical integration flow first you need to integrate system integration whether is a embedded system whether is a decentralized system okay you should set up a system integration okay that is the one is important using a logical system and okay you always um, using remote function controls there are system integration is required even is embedded system even decentralized system this is the first step you need to establish the system system integration then second one is a master data integration how you are going to integrate the master data if it is a centralized if it is a decentralized how is the delivery integration flow that is the third one okay the delivery integration flow how inbound uh, logistic inbound delivery is moving to the ewm okay what are the flow is required if it is a outbound delivery how it is flowing here what are the connectivity is required how you can integrate map the documents such a way that all the deliveries without uh, like you know getting errors you know how smoothly it's flowing to the ewm to perform the warehouse activities and again warehouse integration how you are going to integrate uh, uh, other systems if it is a transportation management quality management uh, even you can say sales even purchasing even material management or purchasing sourcing whatever may be think of how we can integrate others and a process integration fifth one these are the five steps only in a real time use all the steps systematically first you set up the system master delivery so on so on as i said system integration definitely you know uh, because the majority you know is a basis part but still we we assist we correct we check every everything here is working fine so you need to set up our remote function control um, so that you know erp to ewm or erp to ewm or s4 to the ewm how we are going to see so how to set up um, both uh, um, integration in s4 hana and also you have to set up rfc remote function control okay rfc means okay and also you need to set up ewm remember one is rfc settings require s4 side s4 means you know that i am right purchasing sales all these things called s4 side and the ewm side means like may than the warehouse side okay so how we are going to set up rfc settings another one is a master data integration how the master data will flow from the from erp or s4 system to the ewm system this is the data flow typical data flow okay this is the, here i shown is a I mean, presented here is a decentralized one because decentralized one you need a sif required core interface required to transfer either plant shipping point customer vendor see all this plant and shipping point as a converted as a location in aw and whereas a customer vendor in erp is a moved as a business partner okay but to transfer this data if it is a decentralized system you need a core interface required as i said erp is a different box and the ewm is a different box and how is the transactional data see every data means is a master data either plant shipping point customer vendor or material master these are the material master data and as a transactional data inbound deliveries outbound deliveries so on how you are going to set up the through the distribution model you distribute the deliveries from erp system or s4 system to the ewm system okay only the difference uh, embedded means in a embedded system you don't need sif okay remember you don't need sif so since it is a sitting in the same box you don't need core interface where you can you can straight away you can transfer the data from uh, anything whether you want to master data as customer vendor and if since if is a s4 we can call it as only bp we never call it as a customer vendor in a in a in a ecc we use call customer vendor but in a s4 system we call as a bp bp will be straight away transmit uh, distributed to the as a bp only okay and the master any material we can call in a ewm is called a product we never call as a material and we can call we we call as a product okay here we call a material master so on the transactional definitely you want to move uh, as soon as you create inbound delivery it should be distributed to the e e ewm system by generating the distribution model so we will we will see in a, how we can how we can set up the distribution model so that the deliveries will be distributed smoothly without any errors okay but 
we will see you know even if the failed case as also okay we are not all we are not going to discuss only happy process we are not going to discuss only success process we are going to discuss even failure process so then only you will understand you will learn real time scenarios okay say as as you know that training means you know only basic or you learn it no you are going to trying to give as much knowledge as possible so people the day if you finish it if you try some job you should be in a position to handle the day one the job that's our motto that's our intention also for this training okay okay anyway same thing i discussed okay more or less and also like you know if it is a decentralized one what happen is the erp and the ewf okay see the difference between this and the s4 hana ewm both are decentralized how the master data transactional data will flow if it is the erp system and ewm system decentralized one so here is a plant and shipping and is a converted as a uh, location and a vendor and vendor a vendor and customer uh, moved as a business partner definitely decentralized we need a ship and here also ship is required the only difference here we get customer vendor but here we can call as a business partner because the s4 system in s4 we never call as a customer vendor we anything you know even if you want to create a customer we use the same transaction bp okay so business partner trans i mean transferring data is a very business partner to business partner okay both location sif is required okay i'm trying to here present you know if you, if you are in erp and ewm if you are in s4 hana and s4 hana ewm decentralized how the difference between this under definite transaction both we need qrfc that's called distribution model inbound delivery is a both are same only the difference only can see is a customer vendor and a business partner if you are using you know sap i mean 9.5 is the latest one if you are using ecc sap wm decentralized one is a 9.5 version is the latest version okay if you are going for decentralized s4 hana this is a process flow 